Friction affects our everyday lives, it determines a bunch of stuff, from how car tires can be made to avoid accidents, to how shoes can be designed to provide us grip. In this video we are going to dig into the microscopic world, and find out how friction arises. That way we could get a more intuitive feel about friction, which will help us to solve any problems related to friction. We will also understand the formula for friction, and the types of friction. So what is friction? Friction is essentially a force, which arises between two surfaces, when they undergo relative motion with respect to each other. For instance, when you are trying to move a heavy table, friction tries to stop you from doing so, because it does not want relative motion to happen between the table's bottom surface, and the surface of the floor. Well, is friction always bad? No, it is not the case, for instance it is friction that enables us to walk, run, drive a car, or even hold a cup of coffee. Well after knowing these facts you would think, why is there a friction, and why does it wants to help us sometimes, and not so much the other times? For us to answer that question, we need to understand surfaces of objects in a microscopic level, and understand how friction arise in the first place. Now, let us take a smooth surface, and put it under a microscope, what you see is that the smooth surface, is not really smooth. In fact it is extremely hilly and irregular, as you could see from the picture here, which shows a magnified view of a smooth surface, which is not actually smooth, but feels smooth for us. Now think, what will happen when two of these surfaces, rub against each other? When two of these, not really smooth surfaces, rub against each other, the pointy, or hilly structures of these two surfaces, would collide with each other, and give rise to normal forces between them, which will oppose your action of rubbing, as you could see from the illustration. That's why it requires energy to rub. So essentially frictional force is a bunch of normal forces acting at micro level, which adds up at the macro level to create what we call friction. Quite interesting, we would have never thought this is how friction works. When we study friction we notice that, all surfaces, do not oppose the relative motion between them equally. Why does this happen? This is because some surfaces cause more friction than others, which is dependent, on the roughness of the surface. In physics this roughness is expressed by the term, mu, which is the coefficient of friction. Frictional force is proportional to this coefficient of friction. Another thing you may notice that, when you are trying to move an object, the more heavier the object more difficult it is to move it. Otherwise you could say that frictional force is proportional to the weight of the object, or more broadly frictional force is proportional to the normal force, exerted by one surface on the another, which is represented by the capital letter, N. So we write friction is equal to coefficient of friction into normal force. Now guys after learning what friction is, and understanding how it really works, let's briefly look into the types of friction. Friction is of two types, static friction and kinetic friction. Static friction is basically the one that acts when there is no relative motion between two surfaces. Remember when you tried to push a table and you couldn't move it, it is static friction that comes into play here. One thing you should note here, the value of static friction is always less than or equal to the product of coefficient of static friction and normal force. The friction trying to oppose a moving body is called kinetic friction, hence the kinetic. Ever wondered why a rolling ball comes to rest, yeah, it is kinetic friction that brings it to rest, and the value of kinetic friction is always equal to the product of coefficient of kinetic friction, and the normal force. Remember, the coefficient of static friction and kinetic friction are not equal. So with that we have learnt what friction is, how it arises, the formula for friction and the types of it, see you in the next video.